I'm Sir Tap Tap, and what a mess this game is. Oh, what a mess. So, if you're on iOS, the event has been out for a, about a day now. Um, if you're on Android, the game has not worked until today, and you can only make it work from an APK on their Facebook page that you have to download from Google Drive. Honestly, I would recommend just waiting until there's another app update on the Play Store that will fix it. Um, I downloaded the one from their thing, and it does appear to be safe, but it's just... It's kind of silly, and it should be approved on the Play Store very soon. But, uh, What a mess. That is why, as many, many people asked, that is why there was no video yet, because I literally could not play the game in any capacity. Um, also, a, a quick note on comments. Comments on this video and my latest guide are disabled. I... <laughs> The, guy, the, the the update had been out for less than six hours, and I already had a dozen people demanding, where's the guide tap tap? Where is it? Are you going to do it? I mean, you've done an event guide for every event for the last three years. Obviously, you're not going to do a, a, a guide this time unless I ask you and 30 other people ask me. Please don't do that. Please. Please never, ever ask when an event is going to be. I don't know. The developers never tell me anything. I have tried to contact the developer several times through several methods. Um, they don't care about me. As, in fact, as far as I can tell, they hate me. Um, they've intentionally made a mystery and poll in a way that um, I can't... That, like, the guide requirements have to change constantly. The only way I can see for doing that on purpose is to make it hard to make a guide. So, um, yeah, I have no insider information. If the developers... If you don't know, I don't know, basically. If there's an event out, there will be a guide. Please just don't leave those comments. Um, somebody actually got so angry, they tried to refund a donation to me because they asked where the guide was and I told them I had already made it. Because it was rude to have already made the thing they asked for. Incredible. Incredible! I love people and I love making guides and entertainment for people because they hate me. I don't... Why? Why is... Why is life so suck? Anyway... God, this this little bastard here. I hate him. Get him off my screen. Um, so this is the spring event. Um, like most events, there is an old fish tab right here. Some fish on the new event do require old fish. So all of these will unlock as you purchase the new fish. Um, they require two of whatever new fish to do. They're not really hidden, but you have to get the new fish to, uh, to unlock them. So that's a common point of confusion. Um, so at the start of every event, I'm just going to assume you've never played an event before, at the start of every event, go to that palette menu here, close this menu, open this palette menu here, go down to here, buy a costume, the die, most, buy the die first, it's the cheapest and it unlocks the hermit crab, um, then buy the theme and the costume, even if you don't like the theme and the costume, just leave them on for the event, both for the ambiance and because almost always they're required for an unlock. Um, you can you can suffer through it for a couple weeks at least. So there's that boy. So the really the only way to play events now. Oh my god, it's animated. Um, is you get the hermit crab, you tap the bubbles, the little you know event currency bubbles. Yes, the event currency continues between all events, except for when they remove it, which we don't know when they will or if they will, but it happens sometimes. But you fill up this guy's meter, then you cast it, and then after you've cast the Hermit Crab, you can watch another ad to get more. Um, you want to level up the Hermit Crab as much as possible. you got to do that by uh, buying the Event Fish. It's pretty much the same exact loop in every single event. Every event is really exactly the same. So, um, I have like a generic event guy that you can watch to kind of see how the basics work. Uh, if this is your first event ever, I would recommend checking that out. Um, sorry for disabling the comments, but just, like, like I said, the, the amount of nice and genuine comments has gone to basically zero, and the amount of, like, rude and needy and very weird questions has gone to, like, 90%. Um, somebody said I should make a video on every guide ever in, in Abyssrium, and I told them, um, I, I already did that. I did that when the guides, I did that when the events came out. That, that's, I've always done that. What are you even talking about? <sighs> oh boy. Anyway, let's get right to the hidden fish. Well, not right to, but uh, let's get to the hidden fish now. Uh, leaf Tang. Not even hidden. Kind of... 
It's alright, I guess. Sakura Tang, much better. Own five Leaf Tangs. That's that's a bit more like it. Petal Beta. That one's alright. I like that one. Um, oh, oops. Here we go. Scroll that down a little bit. This is my written guide over here, by the way. Highly recommend the written guide. Um, go to SirTapTap.com. It is currently the first post on there. Um, by the way, I have no idea how that person missed it because when I posted this, it got posted to my Twitter, to my Facebook. I posted on my YouTube. An email was sent to everyone that follows the site. And it was the first on the first page without even scrolling down on the site. So I don't know how people miss it, but they always do. Anyway, tap the flower angelfish's bubble 30 times. Um, flower angelfish is a hidden fish, or a, a last event fish, so flower... Here it is, so you need to make some secure tanks. I, I kind of wish they wouldn't do this, but, um... <laughs> confuses people, but, uh... Yeah. Uh, back into this. They really need sections for this, it's such a mess. Sorry if my, vo my, my voice isn't really perfect if I seem grumpy. I've been sick for two weeks with <laughs> headache and... Yes, hello, Parker. Stomach issues and respiratory issues, and it just sucks. Flower Bud Nautilus. Kind of scary, actually, but I kind of like it. Looks like he's trying to eat you. Like, you try to sniff a flower, it's like... Wah, 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 wah. Uh, create ten spring event fish for the previous spring event. So that's make the fu event fusion fish. Hi, Parker. Flower bud football fish. There's always a football fish. At least he's a bit more themed than usual. He's not just like a football fish with a silly hat. But, uh... I would say these are Midland designs so far. These are kind of in the Midland of good ones. Um, this just means watch the ad for the farm materials 15 times. That's in, um, the shop menu. Which I guess is back to being a tab. I thought they removed it to, to be this little idiot over here. Like, uh, eventually the- <laughs> this game used to have such nice, clean design, and now there's just crap everywhere. Like, look at this. There's this, there's this, there's this. It's everywhere. Oh, well. Flower goldfish. That's a big old tail on that young man. Uh, flower goldfish. Here we are. Uh, watch 15 ads for event currency. The, the unlocks are basically almost the exact same in every event. There's going to be one for watching ads for currency. There's going to be one for watching ads for uh, farm materials. There's going to be one for fusing old fish. There's going to be one for, um, you know, own five of every current fish. There's going to be one for, um, you know, one of the uh, expand items. It's pretty much the same crap every time. Which people ask why we find it so quickly, and it's because it's because it's the exact same that it is always, basically. Flower bud, sea slug, he's like a snow bunny. Um, take a picture of gardens, tree swing one time. See, there it is. That's the expand item one. So for people that have no idea what that is, there's always an expand quest over here. And they're not hidden, so I don't usually cover them in the videos, and that makes people confused. But just literally open this menu and do what it says. Um, these always have to be done in order, so like... If I use Hermit Crab skill right now, it doesn't count towards this because I haven't done this yet. So I have to take a picture of the Hermit the hermit Crab, which let me do right now. Somebody already got confused by this somehow, even though it's like the most basic thing. Now it's done. I, I don't know how you can do that wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry to be grumpy, but goodness. It really feels like everyone that, that like even slightly tries in this game just stopped commenting two years ago. And I just get people that are like... What is a fish, Tap Tap? You say fish. What's a fish? I've never seen a fish in my life. I'm like, okay. We're in for a doozy here. <laughs> All right, back to the fish. I mean, these things, whatever these are. Dandelion Sea Pig, make five Pictic Dumbo octopuses. He's he's just got a thing growing out of him. Like, I, I'm not the biggest fan of this theme here. Hummingbird Seahorse. Okay. Mother 3, anyone? Got a seahorse chimera. I don't know. Just just a hummingbird would have been less creepy. That's that's kind of creepy, honestly. But anyway, hummingbird seahorse. Let me make sure that's on screen there. Uh, create 10 species of previous event fish. So again, even if you've already made them, you're going to have to make new fish um, for the previous events to do this. So, And 10 species always means 10 different fish. 10 different kinds. 
So go through this list and... Oh, not this list. Um, gosh, there's so many menus now. Go through this list and make, you know, ten different ones here. Obviously the cheapest ones are the ones needing the leaf, or the sakura, or the uh, goldfish one here. So that shouldn't be too hard, but uh, you do have to redo things. Um, oh! <laughs> ne Nepenthes Gulper Eel. I kind of like that one. He's like, a, he's like a pitcher plant, but he's also a gulper eel. That's a good one. Spend 200 clams. Now, I've heard that with this one, there's an exploit. I'm not sure if it's patched yet. Let's, let's find it out. Um, the exploit was basically, if you go into the expand menu here, and um, you view things that cost clams, but you cancel out for a total of what should cost seven um, or 200 clams, it will give it to you. Ah, looks like they patched it. Nah, looks like that's patched. Had to try though. Speaking of exploits, there was a thing where some people got in their inbox a gift of like one H worth of event currency and like it's impossible to spend that much. Like, those people are set for life. But that was a glitch. If you got it, you will probably get to keep it, as far as I know. Um, but, um, yeah, if you got that, basically you're set for life for all events. So, lucky you. I didn't get it. Even though they stole my currency before. <laughs> it would have been nice to get it, but whatever. Flower Turtle. He's alright. He's kind of of the genre of just stuff on a turtle. But it's, it's well-designed stuff on a turtle, so it's better than... Better than average, I guess. Own five Nepenthes Gulper Eel. Again, just own own five of everything is a pretty common one. Garden Crocodile. <laughs> he's got a tree on his head. He's oh, he's got a little nest on his head. He's 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 camouflaged. That's right, Parker. He's camouflaged or like a waterlogged Victorian ghost. I'm not sure which one. Um, spend 200 crabs for this one. So, again, if you don't have anything else to spend crabs on, you can just go to the expand menu, and there's plenty of stuff that just costs crabs directly. That's right, Parker. So, sun coral is the, the usual favorite, or you can do the stupid hiding fish. Man, the worst event, the most annoying event to explain was when they mixed the concept of hiding fish and the hidden fish. Because those don't sound similar at all, do they? And people were like, what? And... And that was completely valid confusion. That was not people being confused over what a fish is. That was that was just really bad communication on the devs' part. And and I do say, when I get annoyed at comments, I'm not mad at any particular person. It's not that one person asked me and I went nuclear. It's that I get dozens of these every single time. And I have gotten dozens of these comments every time every month for three years that's that's why i'm annoyed so please don't contribute to that it's not any one person that's being just you know completely unreasonable by having a question it's so many of the same question people even ask the same question when they see the previous you know exact same comment on the same video and they ask it again it's, oh man flower narwhal he's looking all right he's got some some gold leaf patterns there um Five Sakura Beaked Whale. Again, they just want you to make five of everything. It's boring. <laughs> Somebody's ready for Mardi Gras. He's like, yeah, I am. Yeah, it's me. Look at that smirk. I actually I actually like that smirk a lot. The The flower design is kind of eh, eh. But that smirk is that's pretty great. He's better than you and he knows it. So yeah, Flower Whale. The, the whales are always the same. Own one of each species of the previous thing. And, um... I guess just that. Just just own all of those, and then you can buy it for that. Um, Giant Teapot Nautilus is actually from last year, isn't it? Um, create 30 species of fish from the previous spring event. If you already have it, wait until you unlock the final quest, as it requires you to make one. Oh! Oh, so the quest... So for the final thing here... Teapot Nautilus. Is this new, or was this in the last thing? I don't even remember, because I don't complete the events anymore. Yeah, this is that giant teapot boy. That seems familiar. Seems familiar. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was in the previous thing. And it's a giant tiger swallowtail ray. Again, a weird fusion of... Honestly, just a giant butterfly would have made more sense. He's... They pretty much designed a butterfly and they just kind of stuck 
they like stuck his flesh in there. I'm not sure I approve of that kind of genetic modification, but uh, there he is. So for that you need to complete the event mission. So let's talk about the event mission real quick here. Uh, no, there's, there's so much crap on screen I can't figure it out anymore. Okay, um, event quests, this one, okay. So these are, these, it tells you the unlocks, but you have to do them kind of in order. So if you do things too early, it doesn't count, just like that other quest that I talked about. So for Arrival of Spring, first you need to make five Sakura Tang. Pretty easy, you should be doing that anyway. Um, for Spring Rabbit, the second one, you need to take one photo of Bunny Sea Slug, which is from a... No, that's from... Wait, does that mean the new one? Tap fly it. It's probably the, the, the new one, not the regular bunny sea slug. Let me, I'll, I'll correct that. Um, touch the leaf sea slug bubbles 20 times. Um, leaf sea slug is from the fusion fish. You need two, um, you two of the petal betas to unlock it. You need to own five flower bed sea slugs, which are from the new event. So it's just all about sea slugs. Chasing the fragrance. Uh, share one photo of the Flower Bike expansion one time. So again, Flower Bike, any expansion stuff that is mentioned in an event. I events are pretty much always about unlocks in their, you know, other event stuff. So if you can't find something in here, it's probably a fish. If you can't find, you know, a fish, it's probably an expand item. So look look around, be, be curious. Um, I have noticed Abyssrium does... I have a lot of fans with a complete dearth of curiosity and don't check the menus. Always check the menus. But yeah, you need to get the flower bike and uh, take a picture of it. Own five hummingbird seahorses. Um, next, you need to create five picnic dumbo octopus, five picnic sea turtles, five picnic dolphins. Again, you want to kind of do this quest early as possible because otherwise you'll have to create duplicate fish. Uh, it's very frustrating that it doesn't count things until you unlock the mission, but... That's just how Abyssarium's developers do things. The the developers... <laughs> the developers are not very good at their job, I really frankly have to say. They're, they're really bad at communication, at um, user experience, programming, considering I couldn't play this until I had to download a, an APK file from Google Drive. Anyway, Fragrant Flower and Tea, this is the big one. Own three flower whales and one giant teapot nautilus. Um... Oh wow, really? So that's a cool bug. So if you have the Nautilus already unlocked, don't buy another one. Um, because there is a limit, apparently. So that's cool. Um, some of this information was compiled by uh, Farm Lesbian on Reddit, and I actually hadn't read that part yet. Um, so there's a limit. <laughs> you know what's funny is they took the limit off of the uh, ray, but they must have forgot to take it off of the... Maybe they meant to take it off of the, the Nautilus. But yeah... So that's the big one. That is the big one where you really, really do not want to make a fish too early. So make sure that you go to the get to the spring excursion. You know the fourth mission here. Uh, make those make all those fish because that's pretty expensive. And then for this last one, three flower whales, very expensive. That's like sixty thousand candy. Giant teapot nautilus, that's a hundred thousand candy. Um, and. They might fix this, but hey, it's Abyssrium, you'll never know if they actually fix a bug. They're, they're bugs that have been in the game since, you know, for over three years. So, be be careful with that one. Don't make the don't make the Teapot Nautilus until you're absolutely ready. Um, I'll try to... I'll, I'll edit the guide if they do end up fixing this part. But, um, you know, for your own sanity, assume it's not fixed and be cautious. So that is pretty much all there is to it. Again, really the only way to play the events is to tab bubbles until the hermit crab dances. The hermit crab dancing will get you lots of currency. Tapping the bubbles really, it gets you a single piece of currency. As you can see, I have over 100,000. You could not get that much just by tapping. You would go insane, your phone would break. Cats and dogs living together, it, it would not work. Um, you really have to charge up the Hermit Crab, which is being very difficult because I have too many fish out. Uh, it does help to get just a bunch of seahorses, usually is what I do, or jellyfish, because they can't kind of stay in the same area. And then you can tap the bubbles more easily. Then this little extremely obscured um, 
clock appears over him, then he dances. And then once you get enough fish, you upgrade it, and then it produces more. And then you watch this ad. Basically, after he's done dancing, you're just going to watch an ad here and watch an ad here. And then you wait until you can watch more ads. That's really all it is. You just watch ads. That's the joy of free-to-play games, unfortunately. Um, that's kind of why I stopped playing events. It's just pretty frustrating. What's silly is that the old way of getting currency fast also required you to watch ads, but it was very le it was a lot less cynical because um, it was you had to watch you had to cast Song of the Moon, which you can get for free, but if you're trying to do it efficiently, you'd have to watch ads anyway. So <laughs> it's it's silly. But that's Abyssrium. That's uh, I really wish the game was in better hands, but it's not, and it's never going to be at this rate. Flaro Games kind of... <laughs> I was kind of hopeful for a little bit, but uh, Flaro Games is not really... It's. I'm pretty sure it's the same developers, it's just a new publisher. So, it's just the same old incompetence, <laughs> really. Um, I also don't think you water coral. I'm, I'm not sure if that's necessary, but... Um, I guess it's like a Spongebob situation. That's not water. It's like brine. I don't know. Whatever. I'm Sir Tap Tap. I hope you enjoy the event. I hope you don't get any, you know, game breaking bugs like like I have, which is always so fun. Um oh, and as always, um support on my Patreon stuff is always greatly helped. That uh, helps me get equipment to make these videos. It helps me, you know, websites does cost some money to host a website and all that stuff and upgrade it. So uh, any dollar amount there, or you can join on my YouTube, just click that big old join button just below the video. Uh, that's basically Patreon, but it's on YouTube, and you get some new um, emojis that you can use in the stream chat. And we're actually one, we're one member away from getting new emoji slots. So um, I'll have to figure out something to post there once we get there. Anyway, signing out. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell, frog. What are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out. Ah!